Praise the Lord. A very good morning to you, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to another beautiful day. This morning, I'm just thinking of speaking to you all about this, how powerful our God is, how mighty our God is. You know, we just say, okay, go to the book of Genesis 1, and in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty, darkness and over the surface, the deep, on the deep, the Spirit of God was hovering on the waters. My dear brothers and sisters, when we read this, we find this to be, okay, is there, earth is there, and how God formed. It doesn't seem to be very, uh, what do you say, it doesn't register as to how powerful our God is. But let me read this to you. The simple statement of God created the heavens and the earth is one of the most challenging concepts confronting the modern world. The vast galaxy we live in is spinning at an incredible speed of 490,000 miles an hour. But even at this breakneck speed, our galaxy still needs 200 million years to make one rotation. And there are over 1 billion other galaxies just like ours in the universe. My dear brothers and sisters, from this, you and me, actually I was just going through it yesterday and I was amazed. I mean, what are we? We are just nothing. We might be just a dot. But look at the speed as to how it is rotating and it takes one complete Rotation, it takes how many billion years? And then we are talking about God's power there. How God has created so many beautiful things. And He has created, so we are just a small fraction of a thing there. But He loves us. Jesus came. You know, we always quote that, no? God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son to save us. Why should He send us? That is the love He has for all of us. A God who is so mighty, almighty and so powerful and a person who can do anything, anywhere, anytime. Why should He be loving us? Why should He be loving you and me? Just find Him. And you know, sometimes uh, we get degrees and we become DCOM, BA graduate, MCOM. We become a chartered accountant, we become a scientist, we become a lot of things, okay? And that moment we start thinking, oh, we know a lot. We are like terrific. We don't need any other help. We don't need God. What is God? This, that and all that, yeah? One day a preacher, this was way back before the trade center came down. One preacher from India had been to America. And then he was sitting and preaching the word of God. As he was preaching the word of God, there seemed to be one fellow who was sitting there and when he walked himself, everybody was like in awe of him, you know, and that hurry, this is somebody. We know immediately that this fellow is something different and people respect him tremendously, etc, etc, etc. And he sat in the first row and as he was preaching, he didn't seem interested in listening to what he was preaching. He seemed to be looking up here, looking at his watch, looking at his mobile and looking around the place and who's come, waving out to people, etc, etc. But the preacher went on, went on, went on. But during the break, suddenly when the preacher finished, he came out and the other person came to introduce him to him. Oh, do you know who he is? So he said, no. I saw him coming, yes, he said. Well, he is the architect of the Twin Towers. Oh, the preacher said, so nice, very nice, very nice, excellent. I shook hands with him, etc, etc. He says, I, I was preaching just now uh, and I was wondering one thing, can you answer my question? And he said, yes. What is it? No, I just want to know, now Twin Towers have been built, so beautiful 
I'm so nice. So I just want to know out of curiosity, how much of steel did you need? So he told the amount of steel that was needed, tons and tons and tons. How much of cement? He asked in the second question. So, so much, so much, so much. How deep did you have to go for the foundation? Was the third question. And he said, you know, we had to go so deep, so the building remains. Stand, it's a tall building, this, 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 etc. Everything was told up. Good, he said. Very nice. Thank you for all the information. Now I need one more information, he said. Since you are learned and you are a brainy person, I'm asking this question. The earth is round. World is round. He says, I want to know where is the foundation of that world. What is the world or the earth resting on? And that man had no answer. The architect who built twin towers did not have an answer. And the preacher said, Listen, my dear friend, God is something you cannot calculate or you cannot put together. He is an awesome God. He has done so much. The universe itself speaks of His glory. The sun, the moon, the stars, my God, billions and billions of galaxies around the place speaks of how awesome, how mighty we serve a God. And that man very quietly listened. And the session, the second session when he started preaching, he was intently listening to each and every word. My dear brothers and sisters, my message to you this morning is don't take your God for granted. Don't be very easy on your God. Your God loves you. God says, I've carved you on the palm of my hand. I love you so much that I sent my only begotten son. And he gave his life. When he shed his blood, our salvation was secured. Please love him more and more. And today's message is, just give yourself. As you get up in the morning, say, good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Heavenly Father. Good morning, Mother Mary. Get on. Say a prayer of thanksgiving in the morning. We've given, we've come back to life. How many people have gone dead in the night? They've never risen the next day. How many have died? But here, God has given you life to come back again the next day, one gift of another day. Thank you for that day. Thank you. Thank you for the wife you have given me. Thank you for the husband you have given me. Thank you for the children you have given me. Thank you for the job you have given me. Thank you for the car you have given me. Thank you for the bosses you have given me. Thank you for the subordinates that you have given me. Thank you for everybody around me. The good, the bad, the ugly. Thank you for everything. And you will see wonders and miracles come. Be good. Today's message will be only one thing. Be good to the good, the bad and the ugly. Because what goes around will come around. When you sow a seed of goodness, goodness will turn around and come back to you. Thank you very much for being with me this morning. God bless us all. See you again tomorrow morning. Have a lovely day. Thank you.